Hi, this is Gail Martin. I'm the Adult Education Director at Art Center Morro Bay in Morro Bay, California. So today we're going to do our final demo of uh, origami and I thought we would fold the Japanese paper crane. So I, I wanted to give you a little bit of um, background on these cranes. The crane is the symbol of peace and the symbol of health in the Japanese culture. It started with a girl named Sadako Sasaki. As an infant, she was exposed to radiation from the atomic bomb, and when she was 12 years old, she contracted leukemia. Her classmates told her that if she folded a thousand cranes, she would have the desire of her heart, and of course, that was for health. But in the hospital, as she looked around and saw that other children were dying, she changed the desire of her heart to be peace. And so that's how the crane became the symbol of peace and health, also longevity. Um, so today we're going to make the uh, Japanese paper crane. So I thought it might be fun to write something inside the crane before we fold it. You can put in a short prayer of health or peace, uh, an intention, um, anything you want, a little saying, a joke, if that's what you want to do. And then one of the other directors, Janet Hilson, had such a wonderful idea. Let's uh, display all the cranes when we can go back to the art gallery. I just thought that was terrific. So if you make the crane, uh, bring it in on exchange day and we will uh, display them. Just such a great idea. So I hope that you join us and do that and um, we'll get started on making the the paper crane. Okay, so let's get started making our cranes. So the last two videos I showed you how to make a square piece by folding this, but today I would like to have a um, six inch piece of paper, so I'm going to go ahead and just measure off six inches. And then, of course, I don't have a pair of scissors, so I'm just going to fold this down on my six inch mark, crease it real good. And then tear it right straight down and then I can go ahead and fold this edge and this edge to make my square And go ahead and uh, tear that. So now I have a six inch piece of white printer paper. I did find in the Westways magazine a really cool bit of color and cut that out into a six inch square and I could make um, something out of that. I'll make a crane out of this and show you at the end. Here's a piece of origami paper that I could use. If you have origami paper, you're more than welcome to use that. So if I were going to make the origami paper, I would take a pen or a marker and write a message inside. Here I'll say, be happy. Be happy. And then I would make sure to fold my crane so this was on the inside and I'll show you on the white paper I'm going to show you on the white paper in case you don't have origami paper but if you're going to have them at the gallery it would be fun if it was colored in some way even if you were to use this you could write a little poem or a little intention or some wonderful little saying so let's use the white paper 
And I'm going to go ahead and write, be happy, be happy. And this way you'll see how I fold it. So first we're going to fold it so that the be happy is on the bottom and it's just plain on top. And we'll fold one corner to the other, open it up, and then fold this corner to the top. And this is going to give us valley folds diagonally. And hopefully you can see that. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to fold the top to the bottom. Open that up, turn it this way and fold and make those creases pretty good. And so you'll see that you have where your plus signs are, they're mountain folds, and where your diagonal, they're valley folds. This is important so that when you go to fold this piece of paper, it will fold in to a square. If your creases are done properly, you'll have an X for mountain folds and your diagonals for valley folds this way. And so just bring all your corners down It'll make a nice square. So have the, the bottom, the open bottoms towards you and the closed top away from you. And just press it all down. Now this should not look like a triangle. If yours looks like a triangle, start again. It needs to be a square. That's very important. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is take this corner, well actually this edge, and bring it to this center line. And I like to just kind of start at the bottom and fold up. And then we're going to do the exact same thing to this side. And just, oops, I'm going to do it like this because it's a little bit easier. And fold up. Okay. I didn't get that right on the, on the crease, did I? Okay. So then once you have that, you're going to turn your paper over and do the same thing on this side. Here's your center crease. You want this line to go to your center crease. It'll be making a little snow cone or a little ice cream cone. Do the same thing on this side. Okay, there's our little snow cone or a little ice cream cone. So now you're going to fold this triangle up at the top right straight down and crease it. Give it a nice good. Crease. Okay, so now we're going to. Um, Flip that back up. Now we're going to make a little boat fold. So we're going to open up these and we're going to take the top layer of this and push it like this. So now you're going to want to make sure that the creases that you made go out instead of in so that you can fold it down like this to make a little boat. I'll give you a little bit of time to do that and I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to open these out and then open this top flap
push it up to that crease and then let it fold in just by using those creases. Let it fold in. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and fold these down. So I'm going to lift this up a little bit and you'll see that the top, that will eventually become its wings. And the bottom is separated. So this is what it should look like. Now this is just almost there, very simple. So we're going to take the top layer of the left side and bring it into the center once more. Both sides. And then we'll flip it over and do the same thing on this side. Just bring them over. Kind of repetitious in a way. You're doing the same things. It's not hard. It's just learning the sequence of folds, I guess. Okay, so now you're going to have a real skinny snow cone. <laughs> tall. That would be a tall snow cone. A double dipper or ice cream. And then you still have the open bottom. So where it's open, you want to fold that up. And this will just fold over itself right on the edge there. And you know, you want to give that a pretty good crease. Now I'm right-handed so I'm going to hold this in my right hand and just kind of pull this apart with my hand because what you want to do is to, fold, to reverse fold this up so where these creases are that's where you're going to bend it back right there and then the whole thing gets folded the other way and I hope that you can see that Okay, then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to try to do this slowly. I'm going to open this bit and I'm going to push it in on the creases that we made and then just fold the whole thing down. Give this a little help folding on itself. So now you have this little crown and you can move these this will be the head and this will be the tail. You can move those around. You could put them out like that if you wanted to. Just whatever you feel like doing, really. And then we're going to take this top bit and push it and fold right there. And that's going to make its beak. You can make it long, really long, if you folded it down here, or really short if you folded it up there. Hopefully you saw that. I don't know if I'm too far up or not. And then we're going to just fold these wings down on each side. Flip it over. Fold it down. And you'll be, again, you can't pull it down any further. So when you're doing it, it makes perfect sense. And there you have it. You have your Japanese crane. Health and uh, happiness. They say if you fold a thousand of them, you'll get your heart's desire. Now this is really fun because you see you don't see the writing anywhere. It's like a secret message hidden in this crane. You'd have to open it. Okay, so here's the one that we made from um, the uh, magazine. I put a little short beak on it. And I think that looks pretty, all those colors. 
And then here's a few that were made from origami paper. And here's the one that we made from the plain white um, printer paper. So I hope you've enjoyed making cranes with me today. And um, I hope that you take them into the gallery on exchange day with secret messages inside.